Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead. So I'm back to make Jack's um, dinner, Jack and Missy's dinners for the weekend. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I've been trying to clear out my um, some of the stuff down in the basement, and I'm trying to make his meals economical as well. So I'm going to use a few of the things that I have canned up so that it can get used up and that it's stuff that he likes. So. Um, the first thing I have is I have an 8x8 pan, and I'm not going to bake anything today. Him and I talked about it, and he says, I can bake it at home, no problem. I have canned meatloaf. I just have a couple of them left. That's it. And so I'm going to put my canned meatloaf in there, and yes, it's going to come in pieces, which I want it to do. That's why I'm cutting it inside the jar, because I want it to come out in pieces. I know it doesn't look real flavorful or anything like that, but honestly, you guys, it tastes really, really good. All right. And Missy likes it really well, too, so that's, that's good. And then I'm going to just chop it up into small pieces. And this is when it's canned. It's already all been seasoned, everything else. It's completely cooked. So all he'll have to do is put it in the oven for like 30 minutes to let it heat up and to have everything melt and whatever on it. Alright, so we have that. And then I made up some mashed potatoes. So we're going to put the mashed potatoes over top of that. I just want to show you guys that, you know, you can make meals out of next to nothing. So I'm going to do, these are just those instant mashed potatoes from Walmart for like, I think they're 92 cents or something. Look at that. Nice. Alright, then you can buy it in the store or you can make your own. And I've made gravy beef gravy to go over top of it. So I'm just going to pour that over it. And I'm going to kind of let it go down the sides of it too. So that it can get to the meat as well. And then all he's going to have to do with this one, actually, is just put it in the oven, let everything warm up, let the cheese melt, because that's what I'm doing next is cheese, and then add a vegetable to it. So he's got meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and gravy. Not a bad little meal. And this way it's nice and quick for me, for them, everything. So there's the first one. It's meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and gravy. All right, let me clean this up, and then I'll come back for the next one. All right, so for the next one that I'm going to make, I actually can my own um, goulash. And this is so delicious. So I've already sprayed my pan. He's got garlic breadsticks at the house that he'll be having with us. This, you guys, is so good. I've got it canned in pints, too, so that if Tom needs something for work, he can just go downstairs and get this or canned spaghetti or bean soup or something like that. So he's always got something for dinner if we don't have enough leftovers. Usually we do. So, he doesn't normally have to go down there and get anything. <laughs> but this is really good, and everybody thinks your noodles get really soggy because it's, um, 
the canning recipe for this is actually what they call it. Uh, well, it's not USDA. How's that? And it's Rebel Canning. But it works out really good. My spaghetti always turns out. So does my mac and cheese. Actually, I'm not invited to one of the canning things because I do Rebel. I always make sure everything is safe that I do. I wouldn't put my family in jeopardy for anything. And, you know, um, that's okay. I don't care. All right. So then what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to put some mozzarella cheese on the top. And just like with the um, meatloaf, it's already been seasoned. Everything is in there. It was just like my goulash that I would make and put on my table. So there's no difference whatsoever. So I'll have him make the breadsticks with this and he'll add a can of vegetables with it. And he'll have a whole nice meal. Him and Missy both love goulash, so this should work just fine. So there is goulash. All right, now I gotta clean up the mess and make room because the next one I gotta do more prep for it. I'll be right back. All right, so the next one we gotta do a little bit of prep for it. So I'm going to slice up some tomatoes and I don't want them to be thick slices for what we're doing. So I'm gonna try to do them as thin as I can. And if you guys have not seen the Rada tomato knife, I'm telling you, you gotta get one. Because this knife, you see how easy it goes through tomatoes like it's nothing. And I tell you, I love, love, love that knife. It's funny shaped, if you can see it. But it just, I mean, I don't have to stress about, you know, like how some of those, <laughs> you kind of like really tug on them to get them to go through tomatoes. And this just really goes through tomatoes like nothing. Absolutely love, love, love that knife. You know, everything I've gotten from Rada, I know I'm an I'm a affiliate of theirs, but honestly, everything that I've gotten from them has been amazing, and I really, really love their product. Alright, so now I'm going to take some mayo, which, you know, is our Miracle Whip. And I think I'm just going to empty this one out. Because it's getting there, you know, where you got to kind of scrape it to get everything out. This one, we went to the store today for me to get stuff. I'm going to can something tomorrow. And I want to get all the prep for it done today. So that's what I'm going to do after I finish these, this video, is I'm going to get all my meat and stuff cut up for tomorrow because I'm going to can something amazing from Whipper Will Holler. And I think it's going to be amazing. At least I hope so. Everything I've ever seen her make has been really good. So then we're going to take some of my sweet relish, which obviously I can myself, and we're going to add it to that. Get that stirred up nice. Oh, yeah. My relish, you guys. Oh, oh it smells so good. That's where I got that recipe for, too, actually. I just thought about that. Is Whipper Will is my relish recipe. <laughs> so I'm going to make a couple. But what I'm going to do is... I'm going to make as many as it will make. How's that? But I can only fit a couple at a time on my countertop here. Let's bring you back a little bit so you can actually see what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dollop of that on each one. If I need to make more, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. We're going to spread that out. over the entire, this is just the the big burrito shells, that's all they are. You can, if you want to do healthier, you can get different kinds of wraps. 
That's up to you. But this video is about staying in a little bit of a budget. So that's what we're going to do. If you don't want to add relish to it, you don't have to do that either. You can just use mayo or you can use mustard, whatever you want to use. Your kitchen, your rules. You do you. All right, now I'm going to take some of that, what I call the plastic cheese. And I'm going to put it across like that. Now remember me and Jack bought that, tur that ham and Tom shaved it with our um, meat cutter. So we're going to add the ham to that. He's got two packages out, so that's why I say I'll make as many as I can till the ham runs out. Or if I run out of shells or whatever first. try one that I only covered just the edges and then I'm going to try one that maybe I'll put the ham over the entire thing and see how it turns out different because you can make them however you want see which ones roll up better how's that <laughs> All right, now I'm going to put tomatoes there. If I run out of tomatoes, then we just won't have any tomatoes on it. That's no big deal. And then I'm going to put some shredded lettuce on it. And then we're going to roll and tuck as tight as we can. Pull that stuff in so you can roll it as tight as you possibly can. Roll and tuck. There's one. <laughs> Let's see how it works when we put a full thing on there. But just make sure you get it as tight as you possibly can. That one doesn't roll as good, so I'll keep it at the edges. <laughs> and then I'm going to take, I've got some some fancy toothpicks. We'll put it right down the center of them. Alright, so let's see how many I get, and then I'll be back. All right. Hi, Jack. Hello. So, we ended up getting seven. This last one does not have any tomatoes in it. So, this is what you eat with your Doritos or those um, Lay's that we got you, the sour cream and onion. Okay. And then I have a little bit of lettuce left that you can make a salad for her. So, I'm going to have you put that over there. Then this one is our, both of these can go in the oven, just put aluminum foil loosely, or you can just keep it uncovered, your choice. But just about 30 minutes till everything warms up and heats up. So this is your goulash with cheese, and then you have um, those breadsticks we bought yeah. to go with those. And then this is your meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and gravy. So all you gotta do is add a vegetable to that one. Okay. How's that for the weekend? Everything looks good. Alrighty. So there you go. All three days is for him and Missy. Um, he won't be cooking with me tonight. And I might do a small video of showing you the prep that I have to do for tomorrow's canning project. Um, I do get to save some time because they ran out of full mushrooms. So guess what? I don't have to slice them. <laughs> but you know, it kind of messes me up because tonight's recipe called for full mushrooms. Oh, wow. So it'll have to be slices. That's all they had. So um, here's his weekend meals. They'll be eating good all weekend. Here's what cheese we had left. 
And I want to thank you guys for coming along. And I'll be back for supper. I'm going to make something that I think is going to be amazing. I've never tried it before, but we're going to today. So you guys have a blessed day. Be a blessing. Bye, Jack. Bye. You guys have a great day.